we're gonna use we're gonna be using this ruler. Can I steal it? I've been known to do there's that. Oh, there's one right there. Yep, I stole that. <coughs> <laughs> right away we have her. Right away we have conflict. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> okay. So and you can see on on the I put a little piece of paper behind there so you can see that it's got a whole bunch of different lines on. So each one of each time you have um, each time we go to a different square, you're going to be using a different area to sew on. Okay, so that's what we're going to learn. But they're all numbered, so it's really easy. So, you're so to start with, we're going to start with a two and a half inch square. And you can either cut this from a jelly roll or you can cut it from a regular strip of fabric. You don't need the ruler to cut this part. So we're not going to use the ruler until we get our first roll on the outside of this one. So what I've done is I've cut some white strips. This is going to be my first round. And I'm going to just sew one on here. These are, I just cut them a little bit bigger than the block. And we're going to sew here. And then we're going to put another one on. And we're going to sew here. And we're going to press that. And I'm going to go sew it now. Usually when I start to sew, I will start onto a little spider strip. That if you're going to have a knot underneath, the knot will be over here. And then I just sew right onto this strip. And it's like And these are quarter inch seams that we're using. Oops, so I stopped, so I shift a little bit here. So I'm setting the seams. And these seams we're going to press to the inside. We're going to press to the dark. And I'm not stretching it, I'm just pressing it down. So I want to make sure it's just flat. All right, now we still don't need our ruler yet. We're going to sew on these two, just like we did the first ones. I'm going to sew one here and one here. All right, now we have our our first round done, we've got our center block and we've got our round of white on there. I went ahead and pressed everything. Now we're going to do the cutting. So we're going to line up this square right here with the first square. And you'll see that it says centering square round one. So this is round one, the white one. We don't count the center. This is round one on the white stuff here. So you just line that up on there. Oops, if I can get it centered. We'll see if I cut it square or not. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to trim along here. You have to press down a little bit hard because you've got a seam that you're going over. I'm going to center it again. Okay, so there's round one on. <clears throat> now we're going to put on round two, and this is the blue one. And we're going to just sew it on these all the way around, just like we did with the with this one. But um, and you, I'm just going to trim it to be about the right length, a little bit longer, so we can trim it off. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're cutting off those ends anyway, so they don't have to be square. So now we're just going to do the same thing with this. We're going to sew on each side. And then we'll press it open and we'll sew these two on. So now that we've got these outer two sewn on, we don't need to sew all the way across. We're just going to sew or we're just going to, we just need enough fabric to cover from here to here. So we don't need to cover the whole thing. So we're just going to go here. We're going to sew this one on. 
and then we can just turn it around and we'll sew this one on we're going to come back and press it open yet so we're going to just set our seams again press to the outside All right, and now we're going to cut it. This is round one, so this is round two. And this is going to be our centering line on round two. So we put the square on our square. And then we're just going to trim off the corners. Remember that we're sewing through several layers, or cutting through several layers there, so you have to press down a little extra hard to get through all those seams. Okay. So again, square two, line it up with our square, and I can cut it here and here. Oh, nope, I can't cut it there. I lied. No, I think I should be able to. There. There, okay. So there's round one and round two. Now we're going to go on to round three, which is going to be the white. So we have all of our corners. Our, new, our next row is sewn on. I'm just going to set the seams and then press to the outside. While you're looking at this one, I did this one in brights, but you might want to think about doing it in black and white and red. Batiks, it makes a great Christmas table runner. You can do a table runner or a quilt. Um, there's also a mini pineapple ruler. And so it makes a block that's either um, three, four, or five inches, I believe, or four, five, or six, something like that. So it's a little bit smaller. So, oh. This one, this is a one, two, three. So this is our third round. And right on here, there's a, a line that says rounds three, five, and seven. So we're gonna take this line and line it up with our second row here, our second round. And we're gonna cut, and it's leaving us a quarter inch seam allowance on the outside. So we're going to cut that, turn the ruler, line it up with the, with there. And there are also other reference lines on here that you can use. If you wanted to, you could use it this way and center your line here and here so you're on your square. Last one. Oh, no. Well, I had to rip out mine because it kind of broke or something. Darn thing. Okay. So now we've got three rows on, and we're going to go to number four. So I'm going to cut these strips. I'm going to cut them from roughly here to here. I'm going to cut four of them, sew those on, and then we'll come back and see what that one looks like. One, two, three, four on here now. So we're gonna find our row four on here. Centering square for round four. So we're gonna put our square on here. We're gonna center it on our center block. And now we're gonna trim here and here. And this is so cool because every time, even if you get a little bit off on something, you still have time to fix it because you're squaring up the block each time you go around. So now, let's see, I have to think about this for just a second. Oops, let's, let me go this way. <laughs> okay, so I have the centering square for round four on my red center block. And I'm just gonna go out here, cut. 
Remember to press hard because you're pressing over some extra seams there. And there's row four. Now we're going to put our next round is going to be white. So I'm just going to cut those strips. They need to be long enough to go just for on your inside corner, so just about there. I'm going to sew those on, then we'll come back and cut that one. All right, now we have one, two, three, four, five. So we, we've sewn our fifth row on. And see that we didn't have to go all the way across. We just had to cover this part here where it's sewn on, where it's connected there. So we're going to find round five. We're going to go here. Whoops, go this way. So this is rounds three, five, and seven. So we're going to line this line up with where we, with our previous round. And we're just going to trim these edges off. One more cut. All right. And now we're ready for our next round, which will be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're on round six. We're going to find our square that says round six. It's right here, our centering square. And we're going to put that right here. <laughs> I just have to figure it out. There we go. Except that's not right. <laughs> Round six. Wait a minute. Oh, there we go. Because I'm on round four. There we go. Okay. It's easy to get confused, so make sure you read. <laughs> <laughs> read what round you're on when you know and and you'll be able to tell because it won't look right but okay round six round six Round six, right there. And one more cut. Round six. Okay, so we have one more round of white. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to find our line. Whoops. Careful. For round seven, we're going to line that up with our yellow mark here. We're going to line that up right there. Whoops. And this one is a little bit wider. That's okay. We're just going to trim it down. Just like that. So it doesn't matter if your strips are a little bit wide, it's okay, you're going to trim them back anyway. Just like that. So you could do this with pre-cuts. Um, there's a two and a half inch strip that's called a honey bun, or excuse me, it's a one and a half inch strip. It's called a honey bun, so you could do it with that. You could do it with the pre-cut of the charm pack, except the charm pack is going to be two and a half inch strips and you're going to be cutting an inch off of each one, so that might be pretty wasteful. Oh, I'm sorry, charm pack. Jelly roll. Wrong, wrong breakfast food. So, so this is, we're going to put on one, one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the eighth round. So you can either push it up now we're going <coughs> to, excuse me, find our eighth round on here. So our centering square for round eight. So we're going to put it right here. 
I was going to use it next again. Oh, okay. Okay, as and we can cut here. Um, stitching and it's going to give us a quarter inch seam allowance all the way around. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be brave and try and cut it the other direction. Mm -hmm. So round eight. Let's put that in my center. Approximately. Turn off this one. And I can turn off this one. One more. So round eight goes on our center. Okay, this must be for your alphabet. Okay, the only thing we have left to do is put on the ears on the corners. So they're going to go on right sides together, just on our corners, and this looks kind of weird. But it's going to go on right here. And then we flip it together, or sew it together, flip these all out, and we can square it off. All right, so. This is your free motion. Now we're just lining it up with this part here. This is an awl, so if you're doing. And I'm going to cut there. Like an eyelet. You should have. There. You can cut this one. Line it up with the outside of your block. 